Good day guys, this is the new 2020 Wigo G in this strikingly nice orange metallic color. It retails at 658,000 pesos for the 4-speed automatic version and 623,000 pesos for the 5-speed manual transmission model. This review is going to include some comparisons between the previous and the current model to give you guys a sense of idea on how well Toyota improved on the Wigo for the year 2020. One of the most noticeable changes are seen in the front grille. As compared to the previous model, this current facelift has a more angular and aggressive front fascia. Also, I like how they blacked out the previously chrome line accent design across the Toyota logo. I think it gives the new Wigo a sportier look as it balances out the colors really well. The fog lamp design was changed as well to match the front grille. The G variants are still equipped with halogen front headlamps and bulb type fog lamps. At the side, there are a few minimal changes as well. Most noticeably are these newly designed two-tone alloy wheels. The tire specs are the same as the previous model and you could expect them to perform as well as the former. The side mirrors were redesigned as well as the integrated side turn signals are now placed lower and the overall shape was altered to be more pointy. Lastly. Although it's hard to notice unless you're really looking for the changes, the refreshed Wigo has a lower body character line. It helps the Wigo look lower than it actually is which complements the new sporty design. At the back, the rear combination lamps were redesigned as well. You can notice that the tail lamp design became more prominent due to these light strokes inside the tail lamps. The Toyota logo is now pronounced giving room for the back camera. I believe that this is a definite step up as most vehicles in this price range does not come with rear cameras. Also, all Wigo variants are now equipped with back sonars for additional safety. Let's check out the engine. The Toyota Wigo is still equipped with the same 1KR VE engine, which is a 3-cylinder inline 12-valve dual overhead cam with VVTi. It produces a maximum output of 66 horsepower and 89 Nm of torque. Owners can still enjoy extremely good gas mileage thanks to the very low engine displacement. The refreshed Wigo still has the same 33-liter fuel tank capacity. Inside is a refreshed interior with a new display audio and now digital air conditioning control system. The new infotainment system supports AM, FM, USB, AUX, MP3, and Bluetooth. Also, if you are a fan of the volume knob, I'm sorry but you will have to settle with the digital audio adjust. Good thing though, as there's still an integrated volume knob at the steering wheel in case the driver has troubles adjusting the audio via the infotainment system. The Wigo is now equipped with push start button which is located on the left side of the steering wheel. Although unorthodox, I believe that this can be a useful safety feature as children will have less chances of pressing it and car thieves may have a split second of confusion before starting the car. The Wigo G is equipped with automatic power windows and power adjustable side mirrors. The seat material is still fabric, however it has a new stitch pattern that matches both the side panels and the rear seats. Hatch capacity still has the same respectable 15 cubic feet of usable space if the rear seats were folded. If you've been wondering, the new Wigo still has the McPherson struts with coil springs at the front and semi-independent torsion axle beam at the rear. For the brakes, it has ventilated discs at the front and drums at the back. 
for the overall verdict, I feel like this is a really good facelift for the Wii Go. The improvements were not confined to the exterior design as features such as the push dart button, back sonar, back camera, digital air conditioning, and the new infotainment display were implemented and executed really well. I think that the 27,000 peso price increase is justified and I highly encourage potential buyers to see one in person. I think that the newly refreshed 2020 Wego is perfect for someone who is looking for an affordable yet stylish and feature-packed vehicle. If you're interested in buying one, please feel free to contact me or visit Toyota Santa Rosa Laguna and they will give you the best customer service possible. If you liked watching this review, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. And if you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to use the comment section down below. Again, this is Sean Padua, your fellow car enthusiast, and I'll see you guys soon.